Hello everyone, Phoenix Fella here, and welcome to a a new series. Uh, basically, what I'm going to be doing in this series is a Let's Play, but with a little extra added flavor. Um, and the main inspiration, besides the Let's Play part, comes from Silent Fan 85, a good friend of mine. Uh, and I, you know, I I pick his his ideas out because they are the greatest, literally hands out on YouTube. Uh, some of the stuff he does in his videos and some of the stuff he talks about, the guy is a a genius, for the lack of a better word. He is literally a... I've, I find myself watching his videos and just like, wow, that dude is so right. Um, but anyway, my phone's going off. Um... He does these things called series modes where he'll talk about topics that arise uh, or even just that something that was on his mind that he wanted to address. And they're really good. They're really informative and they're really inspirational. And uh, I I wanted to do somewhat of the same thing because uh, I've been asked a couple of things and I really didn't know how to address them at the time. But I figured, you know, I, I, I sat down and I thought about them and if I got my thoughts together correctly on them and I got what I want to say in my head that I can make a decent video talking about topics and give some advice especially to the younger crowd that you know I have a huge following of the younger crowd that you know have you know problems uh, that we all went through in high school and middle school and all that so I figured you know this would be a great way to not only give the let's players a, a somewhat of a let's play I'm getting some major frame drops right now um, but give those uh, people who want me to do a let's play some of a let's play plus give some advice to the younger crowd uh, that could really use some just some advice on life and what have you uh, so the topic I you know this is the topic I've been asked about the most is uh, you know, about bullying. I've had a couple of, of people ask me in my streams about about how to handle being bullied, and I I didn't you know when you're put on the spot about something like that you're kind of like crap what do I say how do you know how do I make this kid feel better about this and you know. I've come across as sometimes like I, I kind of brush it off and that's not the case it's just I'm when you're put on the spot like that you kind of you just don't know what to say um, so I figured you know I'd get my thoughts together and get it what I want to talk about in my mind and then address it uh, so I got a li actual list of things to you know talking points uh, the first things first is boys target those that are smaller or weaker and when I mean weaker I don't mean as not like you could be even the strongest man in the world could be a weak person uh, but smaller guys it's a given you're gonna get picked on about about your if you're short or if you're really tiny you're, you're gonna be made fun of uh, <laughs> it's 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 a fact of life unfortunately that your shortcomings no pun intended, uh, will be picked on. Uh, but weaker is the main topic I want to talk about here because weaker can mean, you know, you bully yourself if you're a weak person. Meaning if there's something about yourself you dislike and you beat yourself up about it, um, a bully will pick up on it. A bully is like a shark. They smell blood in the water. They will pick up on something that you're insecure about and they will just hammer it until tell you're just you're you break um and we you know you maybe you're you're a really shy person you don't have many friends that means you don't have anyone to defend you so you know bully will will target those type of people and and prey on those type of people to get their their fix um so Let's talk about why a bully actually bullies. A bully will actually bully someone because they dislike themselves. They don't know how to cope with not liking who they are. So instead of, you know, 
A, talking about with someone, or B, taking care of what they dislike about themselves. They rather make someone else feel miserable about about something in their you know their lives. Like you know, perfect story from from my my life experience. You know, I was overweight as a kid, so I got made fun of for being fat. And one of the guys that was my biggest bully uh, was a fat kid himself. <laughs> Uh, he was he was actually bigger than I was. He weighed about I want to say 50, 60 pounds more than me, and he wasn't as tall as me. So you know, he was very upset that he was over overweight. So instead of dealing with his problems, he decided to pick on me to make me feel like crap about being overweight. And the only way that I overcame that was I. St- stop letting it affect me you know it's like the more he called me fat i'm like yeah what else is new you know can you flip me something else i mean make fun of me for having glasses you know something man come on uh you're just as big as i am so you're basically calling yourself fat so (laughs) you know i didn't i i stopped letting it bother me and that's how it ended he went and found someone else that he could prey on and that's the sad fact that bullies will find someone else once they're done with you, because uh, they need they need to constantly feel good about themselves. Uh, they 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 bully themselves, or they they dislike themselves, so they try to find something that someone else dislikes about themselves and exploit it, because uh, it makes them feel better about themselves. So that takes me to my next topic, like my life story where. You know, I was bullied because of my weight. Bullies will only bully your, you if you let them. You know, if if what they say hurts you, they're winning. You can't let something that some kid says to you affect you. You can't let it. Uh, you can't let it. Yeah, it, the, the perfect the perfect phrase for this is. Uh, Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Words cannot hurt you. Yes, they can make you feel sad, but they cannot do anything to you. And that's the first thing you need to learn. Don't let something this bully says to you, you know, hurt you. You just, yeah. mm -hmm. And the more they say it, the more you can be like, yeah, you can't come up with anything original, man. You got to keep on talking about the same thing over and over again. And it will embarrass them, especially if you do it in front of people. You know, you, you, you can't let them win. You gotta, you you gotta show that you're not gonna take it. And by no means am I saying, you know, go off and punch somebody, because then you'll be in some trouble too. But uh, yeah, just uh, don't let them. You know, if if there's something that you dislike about yourself. Learn to like it. Learn to you know understand that that is how you're unique. That's how uh, you you differ from everybody else. And being different is not a a bad thing. Being different is very good. Being different is something that is considered a a abnormal thing. But it's really not. It's really a good thing. You're being yourself. You're being. You're not falling in line and following everything else everybody says. So, be be proud of yourself. And that takes me to uh, actually my next topic. Wow, I, that was that was pretty good. I rolled right into my next topic without even thinking about it. And that's the next thing is love yourself, guys. Um, I, I touched on it. You know, you gotta be. You gotta. You gotta like who you are uh and no matter what someone says and silent fan puts it best you're awesome don't let anybody else tell you otherwise because you are you are your own person you're unique there's no one else exactly like you in the world and take pride in that because it's an amazing thing out of all these people in the world there's no one else exactly like you you are awesome in the words of Silent Fan, don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. Uh, but love yourself. If you love, if you love your, who you are, and you are confident in who you are, 
a bully would never be able to touch that. You know, if you if you find yourself, you know, interesting, and you find you know everybody has their flaws. Uh, that's my next topic. Wow, um, everybody has their flaws. Yes, but you gotta learn to you know embrace your flaws. Don't be embarrassed by your flaws. Uh, you know, you might have, you know, have to wear glasses. You might be overweight. You might, your teeth might be a little bit crooked. You might, you know, have a unibrow or, you know, all these different things. You, you have to, you know, learn to, you know, love your flaws. Because if you don't, no one else will. You, the more you learn to love yourself, the more you you learn about you learn how to deal with other people whether it be a bully or even a loved one you have to love yourself before you can love someone else but yes like i said everybody has their their flaws um it's just you know you'll grow out of them you'll grow out of being overweight uh if, if you take the right steps you'll grow out of those crooked teeth because you know you'll get braces or you'll get you know uh even for the younger ones, you'll lose those baby teeth, and you'll have adult teeth, and um, you'll you know you'll grow out of that situation, or you'll figure out how to take care of them. But that's the best I can tell you. Um, if it really bothers you, uh, you can always talk to someone, have a friend or a a a family member, uh, parent, you know, someone that you you can go and talk to, and just. Tell them about how you're feeling. Uh, talking to someone is an amazing way to uh, relieve stress or uh, get some things off of your mind and to not let them bother you anymore. Uh, just talk to someone, or maybe even like a counselor at school, a teacher at school, uh, someone that will be able to give you advice in how to handle certain things. Uh, because, you know, they're the best people to talk to is someone that has some life experience. Like, I've talked to someone who's been through it. They'll they'll know how to handle the situation and tell you how to get through it. So, I mean, if you are if you really bothered by what people are saying about you, just talk to someone. Uh, you'll find it pretty amazing how better you feel after you someone tells you it's it's okay you know you, that's all they say hey it's okay you'll you'll get through it um it's an amazing feeling uh, that now let's there there's multiple types of bullying luckily i was never physically abused you know or physically bullied i was always verbally bullied you know i knew how to take care of myself with the with the people that wanted to physically bully me. But, I mean, if you're being physically bullied, meaning people are pushing you around, punching you, harming you, then you need to, you know, get the proper people involved because that's, you, you should never have to go through that. Um, whether it be a teacher, whether it be a principal, a counselor, or if it's outside of school, you know, if it's a you know tell your parents your parents will be able to figure out how to uh, if it's serious you might even have to get the police involved um don't stand for that and don't and even if it's you know just verbally being bullied if it gets bad enough then you might need to speak to someone some type of authority to get it to stop um but with the verbal you're looking at more backlash than you would if if you uh didn't say anything. Uh, just be fair forewarned about that. But if it's physical, uh, they can do. You know, they can't really do anything about someone saying some mean things to you. But if they're hitting you, then they can definitely take care of that situation. So you shouldn't. You w don't worry about the backlash from um, telling the proper authorities about. Uh, you being physically bullied because that needs to be that you can't stay silent about that uh, oh, don't fear the backlash that was my next talking point <laughs> um, and of course let me end this by saying uh, taking again from silent fan you're an awesome person in your own special way 
uh, don't you know don't let something in your childhood ruin you uh, we had a bad case around here especially at my the, the high school I graduated from uh, just a few years ago there was about four or five kids that commit suicide and uh, it's it's not worth it you know by committing suicide uh, you're taking the easy way out. And I've, I've thought about this for a while. Um, you're taking the easy way out and you end up hurting the people around you more than, uh, you know, ending your pain. You you start a whole another pain uh, for someone else. And we can talk about that on another, you know, another topic. Uh, but, you know, life is a beautiful thing. Life, and especially for the younger crowd. Um, meaning like kids in high school or kids in middle school, elementary school, uh, life gets better. Trust me on that one. Life will get a whole lot better. You'll, you'll move on from whatever it is and and you'll find, like, you'll find love. You'll find love. Love is an amazing thing when you find it. Um, so, you know, just understand that. Even though it may be bad now, it gets better. Trust me on that. It gets better. So that is what I have to talk about. And look, we finished that field just in time. That was that was perfect timing. Um, so uh, I hope you guys, it, it, for those who were asking about bullying, I hope this helped in some way. I hope it uh, gave you some type of answer and that you know you learned something from from it because it's. Um, Bullying is a serious thing, and, you know, it, you don't have to go through it, especially not alone. But uh, if there's anything else you guys, any other topics that you guys would like me to talk about, uh, feel free to leave, leave a comment down below and let me know, because um, I'll always need something to talk about for these. It's never going to be... Um, uh, a video of just me going, yeah, here I am combining, yeah, it's harvesting this field, you know, <laughs> that would be rather boring, right, um, but yeah, let me know in the comment section down below, so if you guys like the video, be sure to leave a like down below, if you guys want to see more of, uh, the let's plays slash let's talk, let's talk, let's play and talk, there you go, uh, be sure to click subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.